afterwards. With the uproar resolved, we, headed, we head back home. According to Rindo's contact and protocol, the warehouse wormhole will be monitored by GPM until it closes. Then, after arriving home, we talk about what happened today to everyone gathered at the shop for dinner. つまり、ミシェルの許可なしで部下が勝手に人間界侵略を進めてたっつうことか。聞いた限り、随分と個性的かつ、魚死にくい部下のようだ。日頃気軽に振る舞ってはいるが、中居では上に立つ者として。苦労が多いようだ。ミシェル。よければこちらのアイスをどうぞ。私からのねぎらいのプレゼントです。ああ。みんなの目が同情で生温かい。特にイルが気遣ってくれるとか。<笑> Having received the plate of ice cream, Mizir mutters this with mixed feelings. Shikashi, Mishiro no Buka ka. Omoe ba ima made, sono tagui no hanashi wa kiita koto ga nakatta no. Wait, really? Buka to itte mo, kanari no ninzu ga iru kara ne. Kedo, so da na. Kanketsu ni yuu nara. You can say it simply? みんな揃ってめっちゃフリーダム。以上。完結すぎるっつうの。この適当な思い。<laughs> Yikes, Ignis. What the fuck? How, who are you to talk? You don't run a kingdom. You you just the strongest fighter. But here you are talking shit. So Whatever。Dangerous. Ah, now that you mention it, during the party we had during the reopening, we touched on the demon world, didn't we? Yes, we did. Observed other world XXXX, demon world Asmodia. Losing its sun, the world is pitch black, its land illuminated by a dark moon. Its atmosphere is filled with miasma, miasma, with the swamps of terrible poisons welling about. The non humans that live there are called demons who are creatures of, of impulse and fight in endless bloody wars. That was the story. Yosuni, Yoka, Kento, Mahono, Fantasini, Busso, Sabunga, Masta Sekai, the Kotoro. Tashiko, Mine Kita Hanashito, you shall not monoga Yutoka. Soso, Makai no Chibunia, Ninga Sundetene, Soko de Marita, you shall not toki toki, Oreo Tausoto, Shironi, Noricon de Kurunda. そうだね。先々代の勇者なんてだいぶ強かったよ。心臓を聖剣でぶっ刺された時はさすがに死ぬかと思ったし。Oh my god. Your heart. I'm stuck. I'm struck speechless by the words that suddenly rushed from his mouth. Yeah, uh you okay there? A, a sword through your heart? Means you're you okay? Daijobu, Daijobu. Sore, Daibu, my no Hanashi dashi. Talk cunning out the Rikara, Shimpai Shinaide. Yeah, if you never mentioned it, I never would have guessed. Yikes. He says that so nonchalantly, blood, but blood. The fuck is blood? But. <laughs> Hmm. 
If it was just a little bit worse, Bezier could have died back then? After the conversation and finishing clean up and finishing clean up cleaning up after dinner whatever I don't care anymore and finishing clean up after dinner I guess so while everyone has returned to their rooms or worlds I so yeah. To see Mizir off as he returns to the demon world, I stand in front of the room with the gate. Returns to the demon world. Huh. It It seems my inner thoughts appeared on my face. Mizir stops his feet as he enters the room and peers into my face. It's not that, um, if there was anything I was worried about, it's more like a someone. It's you, Mizir. Yeah, um, Mizir. You always return to the demon world every day, right? About that. Mizir, you know how ill lives in the human world? Would you not be able to live here? Huh? Why not? Yeah, live here. <laughs> Mizir suddenly freezes in place. I think that's what he's planning on doing, but by force or some shit. Still, uh, still puzzled, he answers my question with a question. How rude. You know earlier, I couldn't stop thinking about the story about how the hero almost killed you. If you go back to the demon world, doesn't that mean heroes and other people there try to target your very life? Hmm. But... But the chance of you losing someday, it isn't zero, is it? Katsuri! God damn it. Why are you bringing up hurtful shit? Your heart was just stabbed with a sword. You just told me that story earlier. We're talking like it was just normal, but in five years or ten years or after that. Who knows if someday a hero will appear whose power exceed Mezier's. If that happens, one day... Suddenly, something could happen to you in a place and I wouldn't even know it. One day you might stop coming to the shop forever. I just thought I wouldn't like that. It's only a possibility. But just imagining it, my chest hurts a lot. It's agonizing. Damn it, Katsune, this is only chapter one. Girl! You could have did this in chapter two or some shit. He has five chapters. And you bring it up shit like this. So, I was just wondering. I know you have work to do in the demon world, but... You could borrow a room here and maybe start living your quarter... Or, let me read that again. You could borrow a room here and maybe start having your living quarters. And just be here. If he does that, the danger he's in would lighten a little. And my suggestion filled with my hope. Mizir quietly declines. 
His feeling of regret was clear upon his face. It was then I, that I realized I had made a very one-sided suggestion. Yes, you did. Ah, I, I'm sorry. I was pushing this all on my own. Of course, in your position, you wouldn't be able to just make a decision like... Huh? There was an expression I'd never seen on Mizir's be uh, face before. I don't know what the fuck I fucked that line up. As though he was suffocating, he grasped at his chest with his hand. What the fuck? <gasps> Lying. Uh oh. Seeming to actually hear the word I said, Mizir raises his head. Of course he drops that fucking clue bomb on a revelation like that and he, he, he immediately whisks away to back to the demon world. What the fuck? Ah, Mizir? My words don't reach him. Mizir walks into the room with the gate inside. Then, while hearing the sound of the doorbell to another world ringing, I repeat the words Mizir said in my head. What could he have meant by lying? <sighs> Excuse me. It's not yawning, Katoni, I'll tell you that. And he said it with such a tangible agony. With each... With each brisk step, there's a rough feeling under my feet, as though fleeing from her words. Without looking back at the gate, I simply keep walking. <laughs> Not sounding like that, you ain't. <laughs> what Katone said was the sweetest temptation. Waking up in the morning with her there, like it's natural. We'd have silly chats all night. I'd be able to wish her good night before bed. I can go and talk to her whenever I wanted to see her face. Things like that. It would be such a dream. I forget my position as Demon King and almost start nodding without thinking. As if to admonish my foolish thoughts, a strong wind slaps my face. Yeah, I know. I know it very well myself. Even if I didn't come back here tomorrow and started living at Enchante. My chest begins to hurt when I recall the face Katone made when I refused. If only I could tell her the reason why I can't. But I can't even do that. But it's been fine, everything so far. To her, I visit the shop each and every day. I, and I take my time in it. Let me read that again. To her, I visit the shop each and every day. And I take my time to enjoy a cup of coffee. I go home at night, just as an eccentric regular of hers. That's all. <sighs> yep, yep, yep. If I wish for more than that. I would certainly be punished for it. As long as I can watch her live a happy life at Enchante, that's all I should ever need. Oh, we're still going. What the fuck? Not that it's a 
bad thing, but I'm just saying. The footfalls on the staircase resound and vanish with each step through the room. The hand of the clock is already past one, but sleep has yet to find me today. Damn, girl, you up at one o'clock. Well, then again, I am too, but mine is like my sleep schedule is jacked up. Getting into bed and closing my eyes or even putting on sleepwear is too much. I set my feet into the shop, thinking I might be able to sleep after having a warm drink. I brew some decaffeinated coffee. Game, I know you're not about to fix your behind to tell me what the fuck decaffeinated coffee is. Okay, let me read the line. I brew some decaffeinated coffee, and after wrapping my hands around the warm and steaming cup... Bruh. Bruh, are you serious? Decaffeinated coffee. Coffee with the stimulant caffeine removed. It is also called by other terms like caffeine-free or decaf. Are you fucking kidding me? It's like y'all expected preteens to play this shit. I mean, yeah, it's rated T for teen, but... Uh, like, come on, y'all. Like, what the fuck, yo? Yeah, I know what decaf coffee is. And fun fact, y'all, decaf coffee is not really caffeine-free. Like, for the most part, like, a good portion of it, like, 90, 98%, 99% even, but not always 100% of all the caffeine is removed uh, because it depends on the type of decaffeinating that uh process that the beans are going through but yeah i i was like this was like back in uh in my 20s when i realized that i was like oh shit decaf coffee isn't truly caffeine free but yeah no it's like majority of the ca caffeine is removed but there's like a real small amount so if you're like sensitive to caffeine you should just stay away from coffee, teas that are completely made with, or that are made with the tea leaf, the actual tea leaf. You should stay away from those because they still have trace amounts of caffeine in it. And this has been Mid Morning Souls PSA on caffeine drinks. I sit down in Meteor's usual chair. Maybe I unconsciously picked that one because I've been thinking about him a lot. Phew. That was way too much too fast. I know, right? Want to live here? Ugh, to ask that. I mean, girl, you, sh you, sh you shot your shot. <laughs> While reflecting on my verbal gaffe, I stare at the surface tension in my cup. Ill doesn't want to go to the heavenly world and just lives here completely. But Connus and Ignis often stay the night if it gets too late. That's why I might have been misunderstanding things a little. This was a place for them to be, but another place where um, was where they needed where. Uh, let me read this again. This was a place for them to be. But another place was where they were needed most. Mezier and everyone. They're all just customers after all. Everyone has their own world to return to. They have lives that I don't know about. Hmm. Thinking about it again, it's a little sad. As I worry about such things, the bottom of the cup becomes visible. Maybe I'll be able to sleep now. I return behind the counter to clean up after myself. Oh shit, he left his cup here? A rather worn old coffee cup at the edge of the shelf catches my eye. This is Meezier's. He said it was really important. いわゆるマイカップってやつ? 
コーヒーマニアを自称する身としてはやっぱりカップにもこだわりたくてねもしそれが割れちゃったら魔王様の怒りで世界が滅ぶ。What? Seeing how he entrusted such a cherished item to me, that should, sh that should say how much m e s i o trusts me at least, but. Whoops! Just kidding. Tinos s h i m p a What could he mean by lying? Why did Mizir make such an agonized face at the time? Such a face was a first for the Demon King who always wore a smirk. I wonder if the time he'll ever. I wonder if the time he'll feel like talking about this will ever come. As I think of this, I extend my hand to the cup and touch it, and it shattered in a hundred million pieces. Then, uh oh, I, I was joking. Oh no! I was joking! I was joking! Oh my god, no! You better get that gorilla glue and don't put it on your hair. The sound of something cracking. At first, I thought I had cracked the coffee cup. Oh, what? But I was wrong. What the hell? It wasn't the cup, but its surroundings. Girl, what the fuck? Like before, at Amasaki Island. And the other day, in front of the shop. The same sudden occurrence. Oh my god! A crack in space! It's happening right in the shop! I couldn't understand what happened. My body's stuck. I have nowhere to run. Before I knew it, the fissure in front was my.、Uh, I can't even read. Before I knew it, the fissure was in front of my eyes, opening 10 centimeters in width. Oh no, the arm's gonna get you! Strong winds blow from it. Strong wind blows from it, brushing against my cheeks. What? Inside the crack, I could faintly see land stretching endlessly. I thought it was a desert for a moment, but what's piled up isn't sand, it's ash. At the very least, there's nothing in the area I can see, just dry wind blowing against the land. In the middle of the sad world, I spot a figure. Due to the blowing, inconvenient ash, I can't quite make out the form, but. Oh no! <laughs> It seems the figure has spotted my existence. Oh no. <laughs> please, please don't kill me! <laughs> Much like a child who has just learned to walk, the figure, the young man staggered. How do you know it's a man? Well, I guess here you know. <sighs> But still,、so, the young man staggers his way over and approaches. Oh no! <laughs> Well, I guess she's frozen. Oh, hi there! <laughs> He's a cutie, that's who he is! Who, who are you? <sighs> The answer to my question sounded like a groan or a cry. Is he unable to speak? 
The young man still vibrates his throat, looking at me through the fissure. <laughs> Girl, he's gonna grab you. I already know it. If you don't get your ass up, he gonna grab you and pull you in. Watch. A high bridge of the nose and beautiful eyes. Here was some peculiarity. That form. Oh, oh shit. Reminds me of someone I know well. So without thinking. Me? Me's here? When I call this out, he freaked the fuck out. Oh, no. Man, he's making him cry. We barely know him. Tears flow down the young man's cheeks. Then. Oh. Oh my god. Uh, what'd I tell y'all? What'd I tell y'all? I knew this! As, tearing, as though tearing at the fissure in space, he suddenly extends an arm and he grabbed my ass and dragged me in there with him. What? Reflexively, I take. Oh, now you can move. You should have been moved! Reflexively, I take a step back and the arm doesn't reach me, but. Ali, the hell? It's oh, like finally! <laughs> oh god, y'all! Oh shit! Found. Yeah. Yeah. yeah do. He can talk to. Mm -hmm. <gasps> he extends his hand toward me again. But he's blocked by the closing fissure. Damn it, Mizir. Oh no. <laughs> Only his voice slips into the shop, and the unknown man vanishes along with the fissure. 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 Like mist. Uh, uh, what was that just now? He's a cutie! <laughs> no. Who was he? This, uh, this shit's still going! Holy shit! Oh god, Dromi. Who's the human? What what are you talking about? Yep, yeah, the two crazies together. How cute. Okay, we're gonna お気遣いは不要っすよ。放っておいて死なれても寝覚めが悪いっす。そっか。はいや、君にベスティア調査の協力者になってもらって以来に。こういうトラブルへの対処がスムーズになって助かるよ。ねえ、くーちゃん。<
追い切れてないのが実情だね。ベスティアじゃホールなんざ日常茶飯事っすけどでもなんで他の世界からは落ちてこないのに人間ばっかりがおそうなのかいうっす俺の知る限りじゃ魔族も妖精も天使もこっちの世界に来てないっすよ念のために上層部にも報告しておこうかな情報を感謝するよドローミくんじゃ僕は仕事があるから行くねこの世界中が暴れることもなく枯れたというのなら今のところ問題はないわそんな幸運が突如舞い降りてくるとも思えないそのホールとやら何とも不気味な気配がするの確かに被害は今わしい世界中だけにとどめてほしいものです、ね。神よ、ご報告いたします。全国発生したホールにより、第十二区画の神殿が消滅。神殿に控えていた三体の天使が消失。回収は不可能かと予測されますこちらでも生体反応の完全消失を確認した該当のホールは現在展開を脅かす例のホールと同一であることは間違いないだろうでは皇帝現時点をもってそのホールへの対処を最優先救済計画の一時中断を決定する。Uh-oh.You know, 
as weird as it's saying right now, it's good to see God not blown to smithereens from the last route and you know on this holy sunday afternoon but um yeah sucks that he's doing the salvation project still if it's extending to the human world no, no, don't take back you. No, he Well now, Lord have mercy. That was an episode if I ever saw one. I thought she splintered that damn cup. Glad to see it hasn't been touched. Uh, yeah, y'all, so. Something is amiss. And I think I, I, I think I know the connection between that guy and Mezier, the guy. We'll just call him the guy right now, cause I don't know. I don't know. Um. Yeah. So I want to say I want to say what's T with that guy and Mezier, but um. We'll just let the story play out. I, I already think I know what's T. But yeah, y'all. That is Mezier's chapter one. And every you know, him being the poster boy, everybody's tied in with this. And um they make it be known for um you know Medio. I don't think Bestia, because there were no prominent figureheads in Best. Well, no, Dromi. Dromi's a representative. Yeah, so basically everybody, everybody from everybody's stories, it, this all comes together in Mezier's route. So that's going to do it, y'all. Thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate you. Stop it on. Bye. Y'all know my philosophy on this YouTube shit. View what you want to. Do what you want to, and I'll see you lovely lads and lassies in the next episode. So until then, my friends, take care. Take it easy. <laughs>